Hi, welcome to the assembly. I'm Muhammad Abidur Rashid and today we will be taking a look at embedding a chloroplet map visualization in HTML using Vegalite. I'll be going through the resources required as I browse through my code. So let's begin. All right, and this is the output that you're expected to have. So as you can see, the data in this visualization is trying to show the amount of energy, the amount of electricity that has been generated in 2021. So we'll be taking a look at how to implement this in VS Code. So firstly, I'll be going over the CSS file over here. As you can see, it's, very, it's a very simple one just to set up the font and the colors. Um, then I would like to go over the HTML file over here. So as you can see, I have had to import some scripts in order for this to actually work. So if you want to find the template for this one, you can just type in Vegalite and click on the first link that comes up. Click on get started and you scroll all the, all the way to the end. And here you can see the template provided for all the different scripts that you need to import. Then I would like to go over the, the body. So as you can see, I have a heading and then I have a div, which is basically where you would like to display your visualization. Then, so I've given it an ID of chloroplet map. This is very important because if I go over to the JS file, which also by the way I have imported over here. So if I go over to the JS file, you can see I have a variable VG1, which is equal to the file name, the JSON file, which we will be using later on to import the data. So as you can see, the embedding takes place here. So I have the variable here, which is the chloroplet map. This should be equal to the ID, which you have placed in your diff. Very important so that you can show it up on the web page. And uh, yeah, so here, here we have it the function for the whole thing. Then I would like to go over the JSON file itself. So this is where all the backend stuff happens. So I would start off again with the header of this JSON format file. So if again, if you want the template for this one, you also have it available here in Vegalite. As you can see, the scheme, the header, the schema, the text for the schema. And then for then we also have some different attributes for the visualization. So for example, the width, the height, which I've said manually. Then I would be going over this section, which is the layers. So this, as you can see, is an array of objects. So this layer attribute is all the different things that you can see in your visualization. For example, the graticules count as one layer, the data for the countries also count as another layer, and so does the ocean of ocean that is being displayed with a sky blue color. So going layer by layer, so the first layer is basically the ocean. So as you can see, we have the data attribute here, which the URL is, is actually pointing towards the JSON file, which has all the data required for the ocean. Um, this can also be downloaded from this website called naturalearth.com. So if you want to download the data for the ocean, you can just click search here, then click on this link over here. And then you can download the file by clicking on this button. Right. And another thing is the format of this file is topojson very important because this is the format which is that is which is required to actually show up the visualization important thing here is when you download the file from here it won't be in the topo json format as you can see if i download and i click the zip file you see you have a bunch of cpg files dbf prg and whatnot uh, we won't be bothering too much about the for the file formats so all you have to do is to get these in topo json format and you know in order to do that you first need to go to this another website called mapshaper.com then what you need to do is go over to your downloads i believe uh, yeah and then you need to drag and drop this zip file which you have just downloaded 
and paste it over here so as you can see all the files have been imported successfully and then what I need to do is go over to export and choose topo.json as the format of my file export it and then we have the, the topo.json file so then what you need to do is import them move them over to the file which you are working on and as you can see I have all the JSON files that I need for this specific vis uh, visualization so I have the ocean, I have the graticules and I also have the file for the different countries so these are the different layers that again the same thing goes for the graticules you also have to download them from the website convert it to the topo JSON format from mapshaper.org and then you finally place it in the directory which where you have all the HTML and the CSS files. Another thing I would like to go over is the transform attribute over here. So this is where we will be matching the country names with the names that we will be using for our data in our CSV file. So this is where we have all the data for the different electricity generation for the different countries. So again as you can see the data has been taken from actually this folder data dot per capita electricity generation dot csv so this file I've, I've downloaded from a different website which is our world in data dot org so this is where I receive my data so I just go over to download and this is where you can download the full data for the full csv data file so this is what I used for this visualization in order to show up the electricity generation for 2021. So the last object which we have here in JSON format is the one which, which is used for handling the data of the different countries and the values for the electricity generation. So as you can see again we have the data attribute here which imports the JSON file for all the information for the different countries, the latitude and the longitude values which we will be showing on our visualization here and that will be the end of the video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with our content you can also follow us on our social media to stay in touch thanks for watching